hello everybody today we'll be learning about uh, the river network in QGIS okay let's get started so first of all let's open the QGIS application now what we're gonna need is a digital elevation model a DM file okay you can easily find the DM file uh, from orthexplorer.usgs.gov in the net you can find uh, the file from uh, that particular website okay let me add I've already downloaded it so I'm adding it so make sure that your DM file is converted into UTM okay in whatever uh, projection it is in you have to reproject it in the uh, UTM uh, format okay so here we get this uh, digital elevation map so digital elevation map is actually uh, a raster map which actually has the uh, grid into it okay uh, it has several cells which are of square form and they store the value of the elevation okay that that is what the DEM diesel elevation map is all about okay every individual cell they store the uh, elevation what we gonna do today is uh, find the river network okay so for doing that first of all what we do is we need to uh, resample this uh, uh, DM file so for that I go to processing click on toolbox and type resample okay you can find inside grass there is raster within raster you can find r dot resample okay. you can simply type it or click on it and you can see the dialog box over here and you have to define the cell size okay normally we practice 90 meter by 90 meter it means putting 90 means uh, the individual cell size of the raster of this DEM would be 90 by 90 click run uh, the work is being done okay task is complete okay let's close it now what we do is we need to uh, remove the sinks in this resampled uh, DM, the sinks means uh, there might be several depressions uh, and they need to be filled. Uh, okay, they might cause errors, so they need to be filled. So, to understand the sink, let, let me instead with a visual. Okay, here you can see uh, this uh, sample example. Okay, you can see these are the individual cells. This particular cell stores uh, the elevation value and each cell should be a square uh, shape and each one would should store the value of elevation now the condition of uh, sink is that if the cell is surrounded by the all higher elevation cells okay for example in this middle you can see one and two now they are surrounded uh, by the uh, cells with the higher elevation values so this creates a depression or this is the condition of the sink so to remove the sink we have to uh, perform uh, uh, sink removal in QGIS okay so that would interpolate and put necessary value in place of this elevation okay that is how that works now let's go to processing toolbox and type uh, sync okay you can see 10 analyze at lows you can find fill sync double click on it and run it okay it, it is uh, working might take time so I hope you you, you got the idea about sync okay so yes uh, still working okay tax completed now after we've done with this sink we will be working in the res uh, fill dm okay we don't need this at uh, this one so let's simply remove it and this is our fill dm now this dm is uh, the fill dm okay uh, all the sinks are removed so we can work in it okay, let's go to processing now toolbox and uh, select select channel network type channel network 
and you know, inside saga terrain analysis you can see the channel network and turn basically can hit okay and run it so it is a time consuming process okay because uh, the process is that the software analyzes each and every cells so uh, after analyzing it uh, after performing the interpolation uh, all these tasks are carried out so it is a time consuming process and um, make sure that if the area is large let's say if the area is a bigger state or a big country then it might take more time uh, so it depends upon the size of the uh, DM and it also depends upon the resolution for example uh, if you go for the higher resolution uh, it might take more time because for the higher resolution each cell size would be very small uh, it might be effective but it would take more time to process similarly if you go for the lower resolution that is the uh, higher value of uh, each individual cell then uh, that might increase the speed but uh, the precisement would not be there so but it's all advantage and disadvantage at the same time okay so anyway we've chosen 90 meter by 90 meter the uh, size of the individual cell and the action is being carried out okay we can see um, the activity is being performed okay you can see still it's it's running it is quite time consuming process okay okay the task is completed let's close it now you can see this is how we get it we don't need this look and let's remove all these things on these things let's put it here and this is how it looks let's remove these things and I am gonna create a hill shed okay go to raster and uh, analysis click in hill set okay it will be not flow direction but uh, DEM okay let's run it it's it is created i'll be putting it up here and double click on the channel so this is the channel property we'll try to uh, change the color of the channel let's make it blue normally the water bodies are imparted blue color click ok and let's increase the width let's keep it in four okay so this is how it looks this is the river networks this circular ones they are the nodes or uh, they are called the joints okay they are called the junctions and the bluer one is obviously the uh, river network okay you can change you can change the color type okay go double click on the hillside layer okay so select a um, single band pseudo color from symbology and you can import any color you want let's say you want to uh, give any color you want okay let's I opt for NDVI okay now let's say click on OK so this is how it looks so that is how you can uh, or you can simply uh, decrease the transparency level up to 50 percent is okay and you can show the flow direction so this is how it looks okay that's how you uh, create the channel network uh, and patience so thank you very much for watching